Liberal mayors making excuses for the mayhem playing out in their cities. Thousands of teens rioting at a top tourist spot in New York City after an online influencer promised them free PlayStation 5s. Agitators shutting down traffic, smashing the windshields of cars. Others throwing smoke bombs and fireworks. <clears throat> Mayor Eric Adams taking some heat after appearing to give the young people involved a pass. We're further looking into where well, there's some even outside agitators. You don't come to get free Game Boys and bring smoke bombs and bring M80s and bring other disruptive items. And so uh, we believe there were some outside influencers that may have attempted to aggravate this situation. The scene in New York was eerily similar to the looting of a gas station in Chicago by a mob of teens. But the city's Democratic mayor, Brandon Johnson, also seemed willing to make excuses. We're not talking about mob actions. I didn't say that. These large gatherings, that cause damage. these large gatherings, just hold on a second, y'all. I promise you, we have time to talk. It's important that we speak of these dynamics in an appropriate way. This is not to obfuscate what is actually taking place. I mean, to refer to children as like baby Al Capones is not appropriate. And as crime rages out of control, people are forced to take matters into their own hands. Police say they are investigating a wild incident involving two 7-Eleven employees who thwarted a robbery and one of whom beat the thief with a stick. And you saw that story here on Fox. All right, Greg, um, blaming outside agitators when thousands of young people showed up within minutes seems a little far-fetched. Yeah. Well, first, if they charge those 7-Eleven dudes with anything, it's right. being awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, and, 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 they, and if they do get charged, there's the legal GoFundMe page will be completely out of this world. They should be getting a key to the city, if anything. The guy made it clear in that robbery that he had a weapon. He may not have had a weapon, but he made it clear that he had one. That was and the whole point. And he apparently had threatened them the week before. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, it, it, it's, it's sad that these people are being investigated. Um, in terms of this, these large gatherings, um, generally when you see a group, you see, oh my God, it's a group of black kids. That's what you see. And then the next, what would that sound like to you when somebody says, oh, look at all these black kids? Generally, it's a liberal because the second step is they make excuses for the group. Oh, it's from somewhere else. Oh, it's because of parenting. Um, given the circumstances, this is the behavior one would expect from a group of black teens. Who is the racist in that? It's them. It's the liberals who constantly make excuses for large groups of kids creating problems, whether it's looting, whether it's this stuff. I don't even, you know, I don't know. I don't know who this guy is. All I know is we have to start dealing with people not as groups, but as individuals, mm -hmm. right? January 6th, that was a mob. Some people were good. Some people were nuts. In this case, I'm sure there's good kids in there. There's bad kids in there. We have to start dealing people, dealing with people on individual merits rather than looking at them as a group. Because the moment you look at a group, you make the excuses for the group. And I think that's what you're seeing with Mayor Adams and the other mayors, is they see a group and they make excuses. Why don't you talk about the individuals? Then you can't. Mm -hmm. uh, listen to the chief of police in the, <clears throat> um, New York City, as well as the mayor on some of what Greg is just talking about. Watch here. The power of social media, and I spoke about it earlier, the power of social media, the danger of social media. We went from... 300 kids to a couple of thousand kids in minutes. Our children cannot be raised by social media. Uh, our children cannot uh, get their values, their beliefs uh, from social media and other uh, outside entities. Our children are being inundated by influencers, uh, by those who consider themselves to be credible messengers. Harold, I had not heard of this uh, influencer either, Koss Sinat, but apparently a lot of people had. And he, uh, maybe he had good intentions of giving out some of these PlayStation 5s, but he did say, you know, uh, we expect to get a little crazy in the next few days leading up to this. Well, I hope everybody had a good weekend. I did. Two things. Thank you. <laughs> First, um, I give Mayor Adams a lot of credit, uh, and I've been critical of him when I think he deserved to be criticized, but this is, I, I differ a little bit here. Um, when Daniel Penny, uh, on a subway, uh, defended himself and defended those around him, and we'll have a trial to determine whether or not I happen to think that he's more in the right than wrong, uh, Mayor Adams came on and defended the police because there were those who said that the police didn't show up for 20 or 30 minutes. He said, no, it's not true. It was eight minutes. You know how he was able to discover that? They actually did an investigation. So I think give them, give them some room and space here to understand if indeed these were 
agitators from the outside, 300 kids to a few thousand. They probably need to examine their own protocols and police to figure out how they can respond more quickly to these kinds of things and more effectively. Two, the social media piece is, is very, very serious uh, and obviously related to the first part. And I hope uh, that we're able to, as a society, come to grips with that. We're not going to come to grips with that with this particular issue here, but it certainly uh, was a part of what happened. Uh, and finally, I would say that to both the mayors, Mayor Adams, and I, I separate different, differentiate between he and the mayor of Chicago. And the mayor of Chicago has his hands full, and I, I don't agree with him necessarily on all the things that he was saying. But I, I remind anybody in elected office, one of my best friends reminded me last night, he said, you know, either you go after crime or crime will come after you. And we have to have short-term and long-term solutions. Part of the short-term is you got to arrest people. you got to prosecute people. Uh, you got to put people in jail who deserve to be in jail. you got to end this cashless bail. But we also be short-sighted to not think about the longer-term things we have to do as well. But until we arrest those who should be arrested, it's going to be harder to make the case and build, co build a consensus around some of the longer-term solutions to, to these problems. Jesse, I love your tie. Thank way you. To, way to represent. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, these are foxes. Very good little fox <laughs> tie. Right. Thank you. Um, I'm curious what you think about this be for so many reasons, because you are a very interesting person. But I, <laughs> I'm just thinking about on the maybe on the parenting front or on the legal front, this happened within minutes. So I think when he asked where are the parents, or someone says where are the parents, well, the parents are working. And it's usually a single parent. So I don't know how they can keep tabs on it. Yeah, they can't. Uh, but on the legal front, I guess Donald Trump now has a great defense. What's that? January 6th was just a large gathering. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Did, Aspirational. Did, did the mayor just say there were fine people in this crowd? <laughs> Some of them were fine people. How about this? Remember when Trump said that, you know, there were some outside agitators at January 6th and he wasn't allowed to say that? Now it's definitely mostly these outside yeah. agitators because he said this, you don't come to get free Game Boys and bring smoke bombs. You don't? By the way, is free means stolen. I don't know. I don't know. But, like, you know, if, if someone on a Friday during a work day is saying, come down to the park to get free Game Boys, why wouldn't I bring a smoke bomb? Is that out of the question that I pick one up on the way out the door? It's amazing they don't have intel to know these things are metastasizing in real time. Like, they, they do this on political rallies. They did the Arab Spring caught them, uh, caught them you know, flat-footed. But we can't, we, with all the money that we're spending in New York City, we can't have someone online to monitor these things. All of a sudden, thousands of people are in Midtown. No one knows why. And then the police show up late and get pelted. There is a pattern, in Greg's right, of downplaying urban violence. Mm -hmm. You know, like, so what's a little bit of arson? They have insurance. They can cover it. You know, it's the summer of love, baby. People are smashing and grabbing because they're hungry. You know, but, you know, we got to go after the real violence, and those are the people raising their voices at school board meetings. Those are the radical Catholics. Because that fits into this political narrative is that it's the populists that are causing all the violence in the country. That's what the FBI is focused on. That's what law enforcement is targeting, because anything that goes outside of that, that blacks are the victims, whites are the oppressors, anything that goes outside of that, you're either censored or called racist. Now... I don't like this guy, whatever his name is, Czech Savant. Cosnot. He doxed Johnny, my assistant. Oh, how Ooh. dare he? Johnny invited him on the show on Friday at 8 and put his number in, and the guy blasted Johnny's number to everybody wow. that he follows. Johnny has been getting phone calls, <laughs> text messages, FaceTimes all weekend, and, and Johnny is the victim here. He owes him a PlayStation. He owes yeah. him a free PlayStation. <laughs> um, one least. thing, Katie, is... Sanat so uh, walked away with uh, an appearance ticket, mm. walked free. That'll show him. Um, he did <laughs> not get a uh, permit to hold a large gathering. And the NYPD said they, 65 people were arrested, 30 of them juveniles. But I don't know how the police are supposed to keep up with who is an influencer and who's not. Like, I understand yeah. that we, they could get intel, but all of a sudden, like, you could be an overnight sensation like Johnny. I do give the mayor credit for saying the parents need to be involved here. I mean, the lack of consequences, whether it's from your parents at home, a parent at home, or the law enforcement justice system is a real problem and leads to stuff like this. And we can't even play some of the footage that was actually at this 
gathering because of the language that was being used against the police in addition to the violent behavior towards the police and the mob that ensued injuring bystanders. So that's a cultural problem that's going to have to be solved. There's a problem with fatherlessness in a lot of homes across the country that leads to this behavior. And for these young people, it's sad for them because they're on video chanting these horrible things to the police. And if they ever want to make something of themselves, mm -hmm. that doesn't reflect well on them. On the 7-Eleven story, you know, we keep seeing things like this where people defend themselves against repeat criminals who say they're going to come into your store and shoot you. This guy who left after stealing, who got beat up by the store owners after coming in twice, is lucky he didn't get shot. He's in a state like California where you're not allowed to defend yourself. He's lucky the consequences weren't worse for him. But justice delayed is justice denied. And there have no, been no arrests in this case for these guys who are just trying to earn a living in California. And, what and what about those corporate? people? Like, I also stopped. wonder, what, like, where's 7-Eleven corporate? Like, are they going to defend these guys who work really Their hard to have a franchise? Their probably right? just let them steal the stuff and walk right. away, right? Why don't they steal the microwave ovens? Why? Why do why you want them to do that? Because Have you seen a, the no. interior of a 7-Eleven <laughs> no. microwave oven? Actually, you know what? I have not. No. That's, yeah. that's, that's pretty <laughs> but I will check one out this weekend. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.